Hey, I'm Yafa, and this is my new video blog called Words with Yafa. And in this space, we're going to be sharing words together, words of inspiration, of connection, of growth. And today I would like to speak about giving thanks. You know, my five-year-old son gets really upset if he gives you something and you don't say thank you. He says, he didn't say thank you, and he really takes it personally. And that made me realize that sometimes we have a juvenile understanding of what gratitude really is. Is it just about having good manners, or is it more than that? And I think it's deeper than that. This brings us back to our matriarch, Leah. Leah had a few children, but when her fourth one was born, she was overwhelmed with thanks and overwhelmed with happiness, more than usual. The reason for this is because she thought that she was only having three children. That was her lot in life. And when the fourth one was born, she felt so blessed and so gifted with this fourth child. So she went and named him Yehuda. Yehuda is the Hebrew word for recognition because it was at that moment that she recognized what true gratitude really is. The prerequisite to gratitude is recognition, to recognize that everything I have is a blessing and a gift. She thought she deserved three children, and suddenly she had her fourth, but then she realized, what do you mean I deserve three children? I didn't deserve anything. What do I deserve? It's all a gift. Everything I have is a gift. And she recognized that God gave her the biggest blessings she could ever imagine. And you know, this is what we do every day. Every morning, the first words out of our mouths when we wake up is mota ani. Thankful am I to God. We say thank you as the first words out of our mouths to start off our day with recognition and gratitude. And that's because we didn't just get another day. Everything we have that day was re-gifted to us again and again and again every morning. Just because I had a house yesterday, does that mean I'm still gonna have a house today? No, just because I had my talents yesterday, my job, my health, does that mean I'm gonna have them all again today? It doesn't. Every single thing we have, we don't have because we deserve them. We have because we're blessed with these gifts. Because the main obstacle to gratitude, what gets in the way and doesn't allow us to feel gratitude, that's the feeling of entitlement. I'm entitled to it. I deserve it. You know, because expectation leads to disappointment, which leads to despair, which leads to sadness, bitterness. But gratitude leads to joy. And the only way to really feel joy and happiness is to recognize and appreciate the goodness in our lives just towards God and towards others as well. And that's the only way to love someone and to feel love from other people. Because if I expect to get things from people and if I expect to get things from God, I will be sorely disappointed. But if I understand that anything someone does for me and anything God does for me is a gift, then I will be a very happy person.